Discussing Empowered Women, Wiki hosted a webinar focused on men of quality respect women's equality. At the moment, we are working on quite a few initiatives, uh, you know, be it practices, uh, best practices in domestic tourism, sustainable tourism, employment opportunities for people who've been adversely affected during the pandemic, how to tackle mental health issues as we go along, uh, you know, post COVID. And so we are working on quite a few of these initiatives. Uh, women's empowerment can contribute to gender equality. The other day we were doing a survey in the event industry and we said that 40% of people in our industry are women. Uh, and I genuinely feel that if you were to take the freelance talent that we use, maybe the number would even go further. Okay. But I like the fact that it is at least 40% because in so many places there's such a low representation. So I feel that this whole thing about empowerment and gender parity that you're saying, uh, just remove the bias of in a CV, even asking what the sex is, how does it make a difference? How do you recommend we undo the gender specific roles which have been taught to people uh, over the years? We are all born equal, we are all human beings. Where is this question of equality in the first place? Because we have bias, that's why we talk of empowerment. Because the bias reaches a state which becomes absolutely uncomfortable for people to tolerate. And when that starts to happen, some, some daring ladies, some gutsy women, raise their hand and say, enough, this is this is not the way it should be. Yes. Over the years, how have you seen the employing of women or employment of women change? And what, according to you, still needs to change? It's a huge change from over the time how the women and employment sector has changed. Uh, many factors for it you know, the feminist movement of equal opportunities. Uh, the expansion of service sector has played a big role. Education has helped a lot. Uh, I was, you know, quite amazed to see that the current class, uh, Devi, uh, of Wharton School in US has 52% women for the MBA class, which is a 10% jump from the last year class and previous classes, which shows that more women are now going for MBA than men. And this all has really led to this huge explosion. What would you like all our attendees to really, uh, you know, take home with them post this session? Have the belief, have the faith, and I'm sure that there will be nothing, uh, as we see every day of our lives, there will be nothing coming in the way. Have that metal to say, I will take you on, should there be an issue where, uh, which disturbs them. In our country, talk is cheap, and so everybody does it. Uh, but uh, action is what we really need to do. Be unstoppable. Don't get stopped. You will still have biases, right? They're not going out in a hurry. Don't be, don't be stopped. Push your way through and say, this is why I deserve the best, and go get it. According to JLL, Goa records the highest repa with 360% increase in quarter two of 2021. Lemon Tree Hotels launches 40-room property in Dehradun. <laughs>